And then one other connection here is we know that women who are overweight, they have twice the likelihood of having allergies as well. And again, I think this goes with men as well. When you're overweight, fat is a major reservoir of interleukins and cytokines and inflammation. So you can make a lot of inflammation via your fat cells. So the more inflamed you are, right? The whole thing with allergies and asthma and all these different things is the immune reaction that you're having is an increase in cytokines and interleukins that are pro-inflammatory, right? And so when you're, you have exposure to endogenous allergens in the environment, that's kind of what's creating an anti-inflammatory response. And then your body is then over secreting more inflammatory compounds that kind of add to the mix, right? So your body's overdoing it and you have natural anti-inflammatory compounds via cortisol and progesterone in your body. And if you don't have enough reserves there to kind of, let's say, cover that up or neutralize it, it can really create more and more problems. That's, that's a big one. I mean, here's the summary. Estrogen's role in allergic disease remains complex as allergic as allergic disease continues to increase in the prevalence and the fact women is personally gaining a fuller understanding of its effects. Um, basically, it's talking about xenoestrogens and hormonal imbalances driving more allergy issue. It does it because it modulates the immune system, T cells, immune cells, B cells. It's affecting all of the immune system because we're throwing a lot more histamine, leukotrienes, and other immune compounds that are just putting our body into a more inflammatory state, if you will. Makes sense. So I mean, that once again, we're back to external exposure, meaning potentially environmental. But when we say environmental, that's not just nature. It's not like that anymore. It's contaminated. You've got yeah, the so estrogen. E exactly. Estrogens may polarize T cells and cause more TH2 immune response. That's kind of more of our antibody immune response. So you may get a lot more of that. Estrogen promotes the class switching of B cells to, um, to immunoglobulin E. IgE is going to be a pro those are eosinophils. So it's going to promote more and a more allergenic side of your immune system via eosinophils. Mm -hmm. uh, and then of course, estrogen promotes the degranulation of mast cell basophils. So basophils um, are in your blood, they're immune cells, just like eosinophils are when they start to go into your tissues, um, they can start they, they become mast cells essentially and mast cells produce histamine and we know histamine increases all these leukotrienes and and um, cytokines which are part of this whole allergenic immune reaction so you can see how all these things kind of um you know roll downstream and create more problems so when people are listening to this and you're like what the heck is he saying just focus on this just go upstream anytime you get overwhelmed always go upstream okay Everything kind of gets more granular and nuanced as you go downstream. So hormonal imbalances, imbalances in progesterone, estrogen, especially when you start to have more estrogen dominance, that creates more of a pro-allergic response. When cortisol starts to go out of balance, typically either overly high acutely or chronically low in a more chronic situation, that's going to create more allergies. The more your sympathetic nervous system is in fight or flight due to chronic hormonal stress that can create more allergies as well. It affects your ability to digest, rest, repair, and absorb nutrients. And it sets up your digestive tract for um, inadequate enzyme and acid levels. And it also throws off your gut microbiome, start to have more dysbiosis, and that can throw off your immune system. Why? Because 80% of our immune system is in our intestines. Our GALT, which is our gastric associated lymph tissue, that's our stomach, and our malt, our mucosal associated lymph tissue, that's in our small intestine. Hope that makes sense.